Good morning. Happy New Year. I'm so glad that you are ha sharing this live with me. Um, what do I need to tell you? Uh, if you um, place an order with me at $25 or more, I will send you the pieces you'll need to make the cards I'm going to make today. I'm on a bit of a birthday card kick because I don't know about you, but I never seem to have the right birthday card. So I'm making some masculine or possibly gender neutral uh, birthday cards just to have them handy. As I think I've told you, I, I work in IT, which is the majority of people there are um, male. So particularly everyone on my team is male. So I need masculine um, birthday cards. So I'm going to show you a few of those. Good morning, Linda. So, um, so that's the first thing I want to tell you. The next one is, if you're not a demonstrator, you might not know this, but we have a new catalogue starting from Tuesday. So I can't show you the inside. And also a new celebration, also starting from Tuesday and running until the end of February. The mini catalogue runs till June. Um, yes, the end of June. So if you need some of these, because you don't have them, because you don't have a demonstrator, then um, let me know and we can work something out. So, um, what else was I going to tell you? I know there was something else. Oh yes, if you share my video, then I will put you in my raffle. Now you may think that it's pointless being in my raffle because um, no one's got anything lately, but I am happy to tell you that I have all the things, I have the, I'm in the middle of processing the, um, the raffle winners at the moment on my desk in my office. So uh, there is a, there is a, a reason to do that. So anyway, let me turn you down. Oh, here it is. I'd lost my die. And I will draw the raffle and then we'll I'll show you what we're making and then we'll get going. Okay? So let me just turn you that way so that you don't get blinded. Hang on, let me stand up and see what you're seeing. Perfect, actually. Right, so last week, <clears throat> which was episode 96, and we were using the tidings of Christmas to make non-Christmas cards. So I've got Judy, Kathleen, Diana, and Kim shared it. So let's see. That is a four. So that is Kim. Okay. Let's mark that. And I forgot to say that this is episode... 97 which is fairly obvious seeing as last week's was 96 and i'm going to be using the in good taste dsp so let me show you the cards that i'm going to make so here's the first one now i did uh heat emboss but it would appear that my black embossing powder which Quite frankly, I've had for um, probably seven years, so I guess it's fair enough that it's um, a little on the non-embossed side. But um, and I was thinking that because I've got silver in this in this ribbon, I'm going to emboss it in silver today and see how that looks. Then here is oh, and I forgot to say that this is from the Peaceful Moments um, set. So then here is another piece of the DSP, which is one of my favorites. It reminds me of tiles in Barcelona where they, an apartment building we were staying in, they were redoing the tiles. I mean, it's not just uh, that they were done in history and they're still there. They still put them down. I mean, it's it's fantastic. And it's also an opportunity for me to use the happy birthday from Create With Flowers, which sadly there's only one vertical greeting in here. I mean, 
a few years ago we had one which had a lot of vertical greetings and I found it really useful. So I was thrilled to be able to use it here. And I was in fact so happy I used it on the next card as well. <laughs> so I'm really getting my money's worth out of this vertical greeting. And it's great because as I said, I need, um, I do need uh, um, birthday card. So let me get my packet, pre-cut stuff. I'm so happy with this. When I when I made this first card, apparently I prepared for today, but I forgot about that, so I prepared again. So I guess I'll get a spare one. So it's all good, right? So I'll just take it down to the first card base. And what should we do first? Let's do the sentiment first. And we'll see. And I've got a spare one, as you know, just in case. But if nothing bad happens to it, maybe. Well, no, I don't like the black. It's too non-shiny. Right. Oh, let me get my silver powder. Out. Ah, hard to open, which is good because obviously it means it's keeping it nice and fresh. So let's use this sentiment, which is, as I said, the one from Peaceful Moments. A really good sentiment set. So I decided to do something from not, nothing new because I didn't want to show you something you couldn't get now. So next week I'll be kicking it into gear with celebration and um, is that screech? Yes, I think so. I think there's a bit of extra silver. I notice it does that on dark cardstock. It's got a kind of a silver wash almost. Right, let's move that out of the way. I might need my clothes pen, which apparently I can't see, so I've left it out somewhere. And my other clothes pegs are across the other side of the room, so we'll just go like this. Just put some heat on the other side to flatten it a bit. There we go. So let's just put this over the top of this one. Um, hmm. I kind of like the black, but I also like the silver because it goes with this. Ooh, I wonder if I've done a black. Well, a black. Oh, well, let's put the whole thing together and see what we think. So I don't need that. And now I'm just going to glue these together. So this is the, I mean, it's, it has blue in it and black and kind of any color. Here's the other side, just in case you were trying to figure out which one I was using. Also very pretty, looks a bit like a floor to me. Also makes it quite hard to see where it is because of the black in it. So 
Here we go. And we're going to put that. I almost did it again. Uh, I am horrible at remembering to put ribbon on. So I'm just going to do a knot like so. And this needs to be put on the card. So about there, I think. So just and then put it, flip it back to the right side so you can try and make sure that it's straight. I think I'll just trim the excess off. Like so, and now I just need a bit more glue, of course, to fix this onto the card base. Uh, maybe a bit there and a bit there. So, I've got a nice deep knight of navy border around that and then i'm going to get some dimensional oops, uh yeah a few dimensionals <laughs> and i'm going to put them basically at the edges and then i'm going to put it over the ribbon so it will to keep the ribbon in place i mean it's gonna stay in place anyway isn't it because it's uh glued down on the back but there you go so question is which one do you prefer so let me know in the comments and um yeah i don't know i'm not sure which i like better anyway that's the first one so the second one uh, is not this one. Looking at my bundle of stuff. Here's the second one. This is Knight of Navy, the, the In Good Taste DSP, and the Celebrate with Flowers Vertical Greeting. So, the other thing, good thing about using DSP to um, make, make up some birthday cards is it's very fast so if you suddenly remembered you're just off to a birthday party or one of your kids is then you can whip something up pretty fast if you if you have dsp handy and i, I know we all have dsp handy most of us are drowning in it so get my ruler out to, to keep the ends in place here we go. I've just realised why it's looking funny. I've still got my um, my regular glasses on, not my close-up ones for computing and crafting. I thought I was having a really hard time seeing and I was not sure why, but um, when I looked up and saw out of the window and I could actually, oh, I don't know, see... Uh, it occurred to me I was wearing the wrong glasses oh dear oh dear oh dear uh, let's see how is this card that I made without being able to really see eh, not bad okay here's my knight of navy and what I want to do is kind of Place that around there, I say. I'll just hold that in place. And I'm going to... This is off. Straighten that up so that everything can be straight. And I want to put it kind of in the middle of that white space. So let's have a go with that, shall we? That's good. So now what I'm going to do is 
I want this to be in the middle of this piece of white space and the only way I can adjust that is by moving this out or in. And so I'd say about there will be right. Which of course doesn't help me at all because I haven't put the glue on it and yeah. But that's what I'm aiming for. So let me glue this up. And bring this back in again. Hold it down. No, I can't hold it down there, you idiot. You're going <laughs> to... Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> I'll just do it with my finger. So, what we reckon about... Yeah, about there. And just... Yep, I like that. And, of course, the really cool thing about this paper is this whole sheet is all about, you know, looking like you're in the middle of um, putting this stuff that I can't remember the name of up and you've got all these little different patterns and none of these will ever be the same, which is kind of cool, actually. So, yeah, I kind of like that. And then finally, here's another one which, as I said, I'm going to be hooked on this um, vertical greeting for a while until I have got enough birthday cards, probably. <laughs> and, and so let's start this one. So what I've got here is Knight of Navy on t with this on. I love this. I really love this paper. And it fits down the middle, which is a bit different, I know. In fact, you could do it. You could do it this way, except not with the vertical greeting, and you could just have something across the bottom. But I am going to do it with my vertical greeting because it makes me happy. And crafting is about making you happy. It shouldn't be stressful. It should just be something you can relax while you're doing. Uh, just check which way around it is because it's yeah that's right and so it doesn't matter which way up it goes because well it doesn't matter in this case but if it did matter then you can turn it up whichever way right so same here um let's use this side I'm going to have the happy birthday in the middle of where it will end up, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to put it there. And then this will move across a bit to about there. And I got it the way I wanted it because this space is about the same as, as that which is, I think, pleasing to the eye. So I'm really looking forward to next week. In fact, I think that I'm going to do some crafting this afternoon and uh, prepare stuff for next week. So... There we go, because uh, I have completed, I completed my goal last year. I wanted to run 600 miles and I did, but towards the end, I think at the beginning of August, I was 65 miles behind. So I had to introduce a Sunday morning run and there's nothing wrong with a Sunday morning run, but it just meant I was feeling a little stressed about making sure I got here and wasn't dripping and it just uh, it just was stressful so now I'm I'm gonna save any Sunday runs for later in the year if I get behind again and so it's so much less stress because I know I've got all this time in the morning 
which is why I'm able to start work on sending the raffle prizes out. So um, I'm, I'm pretty happy. So anyway, I'll stop wittering. And here's what we made. And Susan thinks that this shows better. And I think she's, well, I know she's right. Let's just bring this in again for the comparison. Yeah, this is, well, I mean, it's there, but this does show up nicely. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed episode, what, 97, did I say? I think, yes, so we're almost at the 100. That would be quite exciting. And please come back next week, and we will be looking at the new catalogue and the new celebration brochure. And as I said, if you're not a demo or you don't have a demo and you would like to get these, um, the catalogues, then uh, just let me know and I can pop it in the post. Okay, so have a great rest of the day and thanks so much for joining me.